courtside at Holt Fieldhouse where Carson Newman wins 75-73 over the Coker Cobras. Adam Cavalier alongside head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Uh, Chuck did it with defense in the second half uh, and winning in the final seconds on Mason Bates' layup uh, with eight, eight to go. Break down what you did to rally from an 11-point deficit uh, and win a ninth consecutive game over the Cobras. Well, obviously, starting starting that game, starting that game off, they they, they shot. Well, in general, I thought they shot the ball exceptionally well today. But I thought to start the game, they really shot it well, and, and shot it much better than their than their uh, trends have been this year. So credit to them. But I just felt like the second half, our guys, uh, our guys were. It wasn't that we were more determined or less determined. We were det equally determined both halves. But I think percentages caught up with them a little bit, and we sort of maintained our poise. Maintained our uh, our focus on our on our plan, and 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 we're able just to uh, to, to hold to, to hold it together there for the win. Break down the final <laughs> moments. Uh, Coker goes on a 7-0 run to tie the game at 73 uh, in the final two minutes. Uh, you had back-to-back -back possessions with turnovers, but you deliver the final time. You hold you hold the basketball with Mason Bates. I well, I mean, you know, it's 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 interesting because. <laughs> You know, we, we do it to ourselves again on so many levels. They're late, um, and then you got to give them some credit. They made a couple of shots, but but uh, hopefully we we can learn and and grow from these situations. It's it, it can be frustrating uh, for the players, obviously for our staff, because we we, 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 we we not only do we discuss it, we show video, we 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 talk about how to handle these situations, and and uh, you know uh, we're still sort of struggling uh, to really really just. Uh, finish it out with a resounding victory. We, we held on there and, and thankfully were able to get a win. But you know, I just sort of felt like we did not, uh, we did not just squeeze the life out of it. You know, break down the final play that gets Mason the game winner. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, we, we we had a, a little bit of a smaller lineup in there, and uh, we felt like we had a, 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 a match situation to our to our liking. Uh, and we were able to get the ball <coughs> to him around the basket. And Mason, we had told him in a couple of previous timeouts that, you know, we're, we're in the double bonus. Uh, there's a lot of pressure here on them. So when we get it, slow down, uh, show the ball, use your fakes, use your progressions. And that's exactly what he did and then was able to get a, a really good, clean look at it. Uh, Parker Rollet, <coughs> really nice effort from him. Yeah. First career double-double. Uh, that's his first career double-double. Yes. Well, <laughs> as I said, I saw his dad here and I said to, to – his name's Chet Rolay. I said, Chet, you're just good luck, baby. So, you know, maybe with maybe with Chet in the house, maybe that was the difference. But I, I'm surprised. I did not know his first double double. He'd had multiple ten rebound games before, but yeah. never with yeah. the, the well. The you scoring. know, I think it's a combination of Chet Rolay's in the house and Sean Jones in the house. Oh yeah, yeah. and the spirit of Sean Jones and his double double, uh, his double double sort of ways, <laughs> maybe maybe it rubbed off today. That's funny because Sean and I were actually talking about that that we needed some double doubles out of some people. <laughs> <laughs> And I put some pressure on him and said, you gotta, you got to get some guys to, to come through on that. So maybe maybe Sean had to talk with Parker. Uh, wh what about his effort? What made him so key around the rim today? Well, I, you know, I, I felt like uh, his timing was good. His uh, determination was good. Uh, we've worked quite a bit uh, more recently, you know, than we have at any point maybe historically uh, at, at really trying to put yourself in position to get the basketball and then snatching the ball from the air. And, and it just sort of seemed like Parker was – Johnny on the spot, and then was determined to, to collect him when they, when they came his way. Uh, just to focus <coughs> on it again, how f proud are you of the defensive effort, especially in the second half, uh, helped Coker four of 18 to start? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, as I said, I, you know, trends typically play out, and, and, and as hot as they were, and as hot as they were overall for the game, I, I did think that, that as time went on, that I, I thought it would be hard for them to maintain that, that shot making, just the toward pace they were on. Uh, but our guys stay with our, stay with our plan. We, we actually, as you as you saw, you know, we 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 used some other strategies in the second half that I thought were were pretty important, um, defensively speaking, you know. And, and thankfully, we're at a point now where I think we can play both man and zone uh, with effect. So, uh, you know, today uh, one of those was more beneficial to us than the other. How crucial was <clears throat> it to take Coker deep into the shot clock? Uh, well, I mean, I, th I think the later it gets in the clock, the more the pressure builds. And so, whenever you can you can you can create that situation, you know I think you put a lot of pressure on the offensive team, and and you know uh, I think that's exactly what happened multiple times. Turn your attention to back-to-back -back road games now. At Anderson Wednesday, and then to 
Uh, Goodman Jim to take on Catawba College's Catawba Indians next Saturday. What do you build after this stretch? You had six or seven at home. Now with back-to-back away from the friendly confines. Well, yeah, uh, obviously uh, we've played Anderson earlier this year here at home. Got the win. We played Catawba here. Got the loss. So our guys will be extra motivated. Um, but but we'll take one at a time. Uh, Anderson is a very good team. They've got a very, very veteran club. And we know that uh, on a Wednesday night, down there, it's it's mm-hmm. it'll be a packed house. It'll be it'll be a lot of electricity in there. So uh, we'll give our guys uh, some time to get the next 72 hours to get fresh and healthy and feeling good, and then we'll strategize and, and take the, the show on the road to see what happens. Chuck, pleasure as always. Congrats uh, on a last second win over the Cobras. Kevin, unless my unless my mind is betraying me here, I, I do want to make one mention about Mason Bates. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I should have asked. Go, you. go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna follow your lead. <laughs> this is what happens when you're you've been on air since noon. Right. Uh, yeah, Mason Bates, 27th, 1,000 point score. Yeah, um, I'm I'm really really proud of Mason. Mason, I'm, I'm not, for me, it feels like he's been here like, and uh, he's been here five years, but it feels like it could be seven or eight. In fact, one of the guys joked, Mason, it only took you eight years to score a 1,000 points. <laughs> so, uh, but he's been here a long time, and he's been a part of, you know, he's been a part of nothing but winning seasons, NCAA tournaments, multiples of those, uh, a South Atlanta Conference championship. He's been a part of a lot of good things. And for him then to have this this personal accomplishment, uh, it just it's it's cheering top of the cake. And Mason's the kind of guy that he would, you know, if he if we could, could win every game and – uh, and him not score a point and never have scored a point, he'd be 100% fine with that too because he's that kind of guy. But I'm really proud and happy for him. And, you know, he, he goes into a pretty elite club. There's been some really good basketball players here. And, unfortunately, we've had, we've had a fair share in, in our nine-year tenure. And Mason just is another one that adds to uh, the, histor- the historical significance of his time here. He's also probably a, a, l- a little happier with points <laughs> 1,006 and 1,007. Uh, than he is I, with uh, I, point I, one thousand. I will guarantee you, uh, six and seven were his were his most favorite today for sure. All right, Chuck. Pleasure as always. We'll talk to you Wednesday against the Trojans. Great. Thanks, Kev. That's Carson Newman, head at men's basketball coach Chuck Benson.